All right, so this is going to be you know a quick video uh, demonstrating the new pose zone introduced in uh, 2.9. Uh, so what is a pose zone? Essentially, when the hand enters a defined uh, zone, the hand can take take on a pose. Uh, so some changes in the code for 2.9 were needed to make sure that, say, a pose zone doesn't override a pose when you're holding an object. Um, if your hand is hovering over an object, which is triggering the framework-driven hover pose, we want to make sure all that behaves uh, nicely. Uh, so now all that's taken care of in the new code, and you'll see that our hand can now make a pose if we want to, say like a light switch or a keypad. And the keypad prefab included with the framework has already been updated as an example, which is what we're looking at right now. And if we take a look at the keypad prefab, uh, we have added a, a pose zone object. And it, I added that as a child object so I can move this around however I want to and orient it. And then uh, simply the pose zone object needs two components, the pose zone and the hand poser. If you've watched the you know hand posing tutorial, um, this should be familiar to you. If you have not watched it yet, make sure you watch the hand posing tutorial and how the pan poser works uh, for setting up, you know, a hand pose. And just one thing to note, the position and rotation of the hand in the pose does not matter. We're only looking at the uh, finger or, uh, sorry, finger bone orientations that are saved with the pose data. All right, so a quick overview of the fields. Um, you can let it use uh, triggers only, which I recommend, and I'll explain why towards the end of the video, why I want to use triggers only uh, and not actual normal colliders. Um, use box, we'll let you use a box overlap, say like physics.overlapbox, non-allocation uh, method call, or we can use a sphere overlap if you prefer so the gizmos are just uh, you know enabled when it's selected so you know where your zone is and here you can you know just change the dimensions of the box if you want to and vertical field here the you know layer mask that way you know for performance we're only checking um, the hand layer. So if you're using a different layer on your hand colliders, make sure that you set the correct hand layer mask here. Um, and that's all you need for the actual pose setup. Now on the hand, uh, how is the pose zone detecting the hand? So essentially we're doing, you know, overlap check and if we have, you know, triggers only, um, discarding any lighters that are not triggers. And I've added to the uh, default hand prefabs these fixed size box colliders uh, that are set as a trigger. So the pose zone will validate a trigger collider in two scenarios. One, if the trigger collider is a child of the uh, hand model, it will be valid. And I have that check in place, you know, make sure that these colliders or other trigger colliders you may have added to your hand for other purposes. You know, the framework has these large trigger colliders for the distance grabber. We want to make sure we ignore those. So that's why I have a validation to check that the collider is a child of the hand model or if it's a trigger collider that has the hand trigger component added to it. So this hand trigger component will let you put your trigger collider anywhere on the, you know, the rigid body you want to, um, just so we can filter out any colliders that we don't care about that might accidentally trigger the pose to go off, you know. Um, now, that is pretty much it. So back to the case, you know, why am I ignoring, you know, the colliders on the bones? So let me show you what might happen 
if you you know decide to not use trigger colliders for some reason. I'll just move my hand into the zone. And I want to get it right on the edge. You'll see what's happening here if we look at the zone uh, dimension. The actual zone is applying the pose to the hand, which is making a fist. But as the fist is being formed, it's leaving the zone, which causes it to open back up. So that is essentially why I've set hand triggers only, and I have put a fixed size collider on the hand. That way this kind of right of the edge uh, thing does not happen. And that's pretty much it. All right, thanks for watching and good luck.